Hello, how are you? This is our new Life Cycles book. So excited to show you this one. So it comes with the book. You've got five different life cycles in there. You've got the chickens, turtles, frogs, the plants and flowers, then butterflies. It um, comes with all these flashcards. You need to cut them out though, but it comes on the white clean um, plastic stock. So it means you can cut it straight out and it won't split. You've also got the different words for the, whoops, the different parts of the process in the life cycle. Um, so some of them will work for, well, adult works for all of them and egg for most of them as well. Um, you've got these life cycles, but then you can also use bits and pieces of it to apply to say bugs, where you've got the larva and the pupa stage, the chrysalis or the cocoon. Um, I did find out cocoon is for moth, chrysalis is for butterfly. Uh, to keep showing through these words, tadpole, which is only gonna work for the frog one, chrysalis, embryo, which will work for a good deal of them, um, not the plant one. The plant one, we have, what, sprout? Then egg works for most of them as well, or seed for plants. So that's your first part of the process. And then pupa and larva there. So you can use these, all of these cards throughout the activity book. Let me just move all these out the way. Okay, here we go. I will show you how the book is laid out. So at the beginning of each of the five life cycles, you've got the poster to use. It's obviously got the pictures, the graphics there, and the words of what's happening in each stage. Um, I've put in green the keywords. So you've got the adult butterfly, which lays the eggs. So you've got the butterfly here and the eggs. Then a caterpillar or a larvae hatches out of the egg. The caterpillar builds a chrysalis. The pupa grows inside the chrysalis and then an adult butterfly emerges. And then we just keep continuing this cycle. I've got labels. Um, a lot of you will want to set up home corners in the classrooms or as far as homeschooling goes. Um, so you've got labels there that you can cut out and then either put on the wall or at each station. We've got the two piece puzzle. So you can laminate this or just use it as a cut and paste activity and then cut the puzzles, mix them up, match them up and paste them onto a piece of paper. Or if you do it as a laminate, if you laminate it, you can make it a reusable activity. This one is designed, so I've got butterfly there, but it doesn't matter, I'm going to use my frogs. Um, I do have my little frogs life cycle set. Cannot remember where I got this. I didn't have eggs though, so I used little eyeballs and just stuck them to a piece of double-sided tape. So they're my eggs. Um, so again, if you do have something like this, you can do it with your toys or props. Um, so we've got the eggs first and then the tadpole is born. Then we've got the tadpole grows two legs, then it grows four legs, and then we get an adult frog. I'll just shift them up. So we've got the cards to almost match. We've got the eggs. Inside the eggs, the embryo grows. We then have a tadpole. Then we've got a tadpole with two, then four legs. And then we've got an adult frog. Um, another way we can do it. So we've got it blank to start. We've got the words there for props, uh, for um, help if you need it. Prompts, it would be the right word. And then we can use them with the word cards. So I'm obviously not gonna do seed or pupa. Embryo was the second stage. Chrysalis is for butterfly, a tadpole comes next. Hatchling was for the chickens and the turtles. We've got an adult frog at the end. Seedling was for plants, egg was for this one. Um, again, as your kids get older, they can sort as I'm doing now. Otherwise, you would have the right words and the right picture cards for the activity that you're working on. Um, lava, sprout. Okay, for this one, there's two stages of the tadpole, so it only has the four cards. All right. Now, next activity. This one is just displayed differently as a cycle instead of the linear. So you can use the cards again. I've lost one. Where's my adult frog gone? Oh, he's here. There we go. So we're gonna start with the adult frog this time because it is a cycle. The adult frog lays the eggs and then use those words as you're telling it. Um, then the embryos grow inside the eggs. Tadpoles hatch from the eggs. The tadpoles grow two legs and then four legs and then they get an adult frog and it just keeps going round and round. And then, uh, so back to the butterfly one, because that's what we're working on to start with. This is a cut and paste activity. So cut out the labels and the different pictures. We're then going to paste them onto the cycle here. So it will look something like this one. 
and then this one you can you can use that just as a graphic as is if you want to you can pull them out and laminate them or just cut out this one use a split pin to put it through here i should probably do that let me do that hang on there we go it was just easier to show you rather than try and tell you what i was banging on about all right so we're just gonna poke a hole yeah there we go through there put it flat so i don't tear it there we go so yeah you can cut it out and laminate it or just do it inside the book here and as we turn it around we go to each stage of the life cycle all right next one uh, this is an activity so for each of the five life cycles there's one to two activities so we've got dot painting and then the other one which i made up for my photos yesterday is just a cut and paste caterpillar so we've got the concertina folding backs and forwards so we see building those fine motor skills we make our little stretchy caterpillar and then i really like this one i haven't done this before so this is a sequencing activity so first then next and last um, this will help our little ones as well tell a story or a sequence in order yeah so what happens first let's do something different let's go with the chickens so first the chicken lays the egg you could choose to have a chicken first you know age-old debate chicken and the egg there's an ant on my page there we go so the chicken i'm going to do that actually we've got an adult chicken the chicken lays the egg and then an embryo grows inside the egg you could use either picture there next a chicken hatches and last it turns into an adult chicken yeah so we're using these words to help form our story or paragraph or sentence and then we're going to use that again to write out full sentences so let's go to the plants and then i show you all of it without going through every single one so i'm going to put my seed first the seed germinates got a sprout seedling and then an adult plant which we would have done those activities before we got to this point so first a seed is planted in the ground i'm not going to write it for you i'll just put that there then the seed germinates next the seed turns into a sprout and grows into a seedling last we get an adult plant and then a flower and then you could continue that on um, the flower then drops the seeds which go into the ground and germinate yeah so there's lots of different ways you can do it and use it you can use the pictures you can start writing you could do it as sentences for each one to learn to structure a paragraph um, i hope that is useful to you now i'm just going to quickly flick through we've got the frog life cycle the labels the puzzles the different ways of sequencing and the cycle again there cut and paste activity onto this one um, keep flicking through so we've got dot painting for the frogs and the five speckled frogs so we put these um, you can laminate them if you want to just cut them out stick them onto pop sticks and have little puppets as you sing the rhyme or finger puppets you can use these to um, make a ring and stick the frog to and you've got your little log there then we've got sequencing chicken 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 lots of chickens all the way through this is a stuff cut and stuff activity so you cut out the chickens there we go both sides staple them together stuff them with cotton rolls cotton balls um good activity for predicting as far as how many cotton balls do you think it will take to fill up the chicken fine motor skills as well because we're cutting out and stapling all the way around and then we've got our turtles and this one i want to make this one i just haven't had a chance to cut it out yet this one i would laminate just to make it last a bit longer and when you're moving the parts um so we cut out all the bits and pieces you put split pins through the black dots attach them onto the shell and you put a little turtle uh, dot painting and then plants are last with a cut and paste flower activity so cut out the petals um, layer them around 
on top of the stalk there. So you've got the two different layers of petals, the darker yellow and the lighter yellow, and then you put the center in the middle. And there you go, that is the end of the book. The books are personalized as well. If you don't want your kid's name, if you wanna use it for the classroom, you can put your classroom's name or just um, choose to leave it blank. That's completely fine too. All right, I hope you love that pack. I hope you can use it um, and have fun with it, teaching life cycles and yeah, bringing science into the classroom and with play. All right, talk to you soon, bye.